Georgia Farm Bureau Day at the state capitol is that one time of the year that farmers and Farm Bureau members get to meet in Atlanta and sit down for lunch with their elected state house and senate members. Monitor's Rick Trepto reports it was another successful event this year. Many new faces in the Georgia General Assembly and new constitutional officers piqued the interest for the Georgia Farm Bureau members attending this year's event. Though the legislators were in committee meetings and not in session, a luncheon was held at the Georgia Depot for the farmers to talk about those pressing state issues. Georgia Governor Nathan Deal touched on a major one. My budget has proposed that over the next four years, that we spend some $300 million in water resources in terms of building reservoirs and adjunct facilities related to water capacity and water storage. The governor added he still wants water allotments and service to be an issue for local governments. Because of the magnitude of some of the cost associated with building reservoirs, Local communities are often hampered with front-end startup money and planning resources. We intend to have the language so that this money is going to be available to local communities on the front end as they begin to contemplate and make plans and design these storage facilities. Many of the rural legislators understand the reservoirs are multi-beneficial. And also these reservoirs will not just bring us water to where we are having when, when we have a drought. But a reservoir also builds a community. It builds recreation for that community to where we may generate more revenue from it. The critically small number of large animal vets is being addressed in the House Ag Committee. A measure to create loans for students has been introduced by Representative Gene Maddox. This is a, a bill that's dear to him he being on our committee and also being a retired veterinarian, uh, we do need more large animal vets in the state of Georgia. And we see that need. And when you see a need like that, we need to try to anyway enhance it to where uh, students may want to choose to go in that direction so they would be guaranteed a job. And coming up later, the General Assembly's work so far on the immigration issue was addressed by Georgia Foreign Bureau. Paul Beliveau will have more on that.